girl. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to show how to cook perfect brown rice. There's so many kinds of rice, such as jasmine and basmati. But today, I will talk about short grain brown rice. I grew up in Japan, and short grain rice is most Japanese rice dish are made of. It's starchy, nutty, and slightly sweet. In this video, I'm gonna show two ways to cook brown rice. First one is using pressure cooker. Using pressure cooker, brown rice becomes chewy, flavorful, and sweet. This makes the best brown rice in my opinion. The second way is the regular pot with lid. I think this is the most accessible for everyone. Using a pot, brown rice becomes light and fluffy. So it's great for making pilaf or fried rice. Cooking method for both pots are similar but slightly different. But once you try this, you can never go back. So let's dive in. Let's start with measuring the brown rice. Measuring rice is important when it comes to cook perfect brown rice because rice to water ratio matters to the texture. Here I use measuring cup but you can use any cups or glass you like. Just use the same cup for measuring water. Today I'm gonna use 2 cups of rice which makes 4 servings after cook. Now we're gonna rinse rice before we cook because there might be hull or husk left in the rice and once you bite into them, it tastes a little bit odd this is a totally optional but I like to use spring water or any natural water instead of tap for a first rinse because at this point, rice is very dehydrated and absorbs flavor of water the most and sometimes tap water leaves weird smell if you ever tried brown rice and didn't like it, this might be a reason. You don't have to wash really hard. Use this circular motion to separate the rice from dust and husk. Now change the water and do the same thing two more times. And this time I'm gonna use tap water. After wash rice three times in total, I like to soak the rice overnight. Soaking brown rice helps lower the plant compound that prevent mineral absorption and also helps protein absorption too. So I highly recommend to do soaking overnight. I always rinse and soak brown rice the day before I do meal prep. And I know sometimes you don't have time to wait overnight. In that case, 30 minutes soaking also helps to improve the texture of cooked rice. Once the grains turned white, you know grains absorbed water and ready to cook. Drain the rice once again and add rice to the pot. So first way is cooking with a pressure cooker. We are gonna add rice and water to a pot. For water, we are gonna use 1 to 1.3 or 1 to 1.5 ratio. Which means, for 1 cup of rice, I use 1.3 to 1.5 cups of water. If I soak the rice overnight, I use 1 to 1.3 ratio. Otherwise, I stick with 1.5 ratio. So for example, today I'm using 2 cups of soaked rice, then using 1.3 ratio resulting in 2.6 cups of water. I like to measure how deep the water is in the pot with my fingers so that next time I don't need a measuring cup, I can use my fingers instead. Now turn the heat to medium and bring it to the boil. It takes about 10 minutes and when you see the bubble popping up, add a pinch of salt. Pop the lid on, bring the heat up to high and let the pressure to rise. How to use pressure cooker is different from brand to brand, so please follow the instruction of your pressure cooker. When the pressure is on, bring the heat down to low and let it cook for 25 minutes. Remove from the heat and let it sit for a while to let the pressure to drop. Now it's time to check the finished product. If it's too watery, give it a stir and leave it for a while to let the excess water to be absorbed. If it's undercooked, on the other hand, add a little bit of water and cook for extra 5 to 10 minutes. Before the serving, let's flip the rice upside down. Using a wet spatula, cut into fours and flip each part. 
In this way, you can even out the water content of rice, and the excess water would be evaporated. Now you can enjoy the freshly cooked brown rice. Next, I'm gonna show how to cook with a regular pot. It's basically the same, so I'm gonna show some differences. Like the last time, soak the rice and add it to a pot with water. Since using regular pot, water can escape more. So we're gonna add more water than we did with pressure cooker. The rice to water ratio is 1 to 1.5 or 1 to 2. And again, if I soak the rice overnight, I use a lower ratio and otherwise I use a higher one. So today, I use 2 cups of soaked rice. That called for 1 to 1.5 ratio and 1.5 times 2 cups is 3 cups of water. Cook over the medium heat and bring to the boil. Add a pinch of salt, pop the lid on and bring the heat up to medium to high. Let the rice dance in the boiling water. And once you see the bubble coming out of the lid, let it cook for 1 minute and reduce the heat to low. Keep on cooking for 30 minutes. Remove from the heat and set it aside for 10 minutes. Then you have perfect brown rice. These small holes are sign of successful cooking. These are called crab holes in Japanese, which actually are created by hot air bubbles mixing the rice in the pot to cook evenly. But looks like holes where the crabs live on the beach, don't you think? Flip the rice upside down and it's ready to serve. I always make a batch on a meal prep day and after the rice is completely cooled down, I divide it into individual servings and place to store. This way, I can have my brown rice ready at my fingertips and save some time in the kitchen. I hope you find this video helpful and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye.